Hello, in this video tutorial, you are going to learn how to install and configure remote desktop services on standalone server in Windows Server 2012 machine. This video tutorial is presented by Surgeon Sami powered by itzoz.com and you are watching this video on YouTube channel Peter Kreis. So without wasting any more time, let's start our tutorial. This is a Windows Server 2012 machine and I am logged in as an administrator. This is a standalone system. That means it is not a part of an Active Directory domain controller. Let's open Server Manager. On the Server Manager, click on Manage. From the drop down, select Add Roles and Features. On the Add Roles and Features window, click Next. In the Select Installation Type window, click on the first option and then click on Next. From the Select Destination Server window, we are going to select our local server and then click on Next. Now we are on Select Server Role window. From here we are going to select the role Remote Desktop Services. Click on the checkbox, then click Next. On the Select Features window, you do not have to do anything. Just click Next. Here it is showing some information about Remote Desktop Services. Let us click Next. Now we are on Select Role Services window. From here we are going to select the roles which we require to install to use remote desktop services. So let's click on remote desktop licensing. When you click on it, it will show you additional features which are going to be installed with this. Ok. Next we are going to select remote desktop session host. Click on the checkbox. Click add features. We are also going to select remote desktop web access. Though it is not required, but you can install it if you want. Now let us click next. Here it is showing us the features which we are going to install. Let us click on the restart the distribution server automatically if required. Then click on install. It will take some time for the installation to be completed. Once the installation is completed, restart the server. Now the server has been restarted. Let us log on to the server with administrator. Press Alt Control Del. and the very secret password which I am not going to tell you. Ok. Hit enter. So we have logged on to the server with administrative rights. After the server is restarted, the installation is still in progress. It will take few more minutes to complete. Now the installation is completed. Once the installation is completed, click on the close button. Now let's go to tools and over here you can see terminal services. Inside terminal services there are two options, RD license diagnoser and remote desktop license manager. By default you will get 120 days license for remote desktop services. After 120 days the remote desktop services license will expire. Once the license is expired, you will not able to use remote desktop services. It is recommended that you buy a remote desktop license before 120 days are over and install that license on your server. In this tutorial, we are not going to install remote desktop license because we are not going to buy the license. So let us move forward with our tutorial. Once again, let's go to tools and click on computer management. From computer management, click on local users and groups. Then click on users, right click and click on new user. Type the username which is Tom and the password which I am not going to tell you. Confirm the password. Check the first option. User must change the password on next logon and click create. Similarly, we are going to create one more user. The username is John and the password. Confirm password. In this user we are going to unselect the first option and we are going to select second and third option. User cannot change the password 
and user password never expire. Then click on create. Now click close. So here we have created two users. One is John and another one is Tom. Now from the local users and groups section, click on groups folder. Here we are going to add the users which we have created into remote desktop users group. So double click on remote desktop users. Click on add. Click on advance. Find now. Then check for the users which you have created. The first one is John and the second one is Tom. Now we have selected both of the users. Click OK. Once more click OK. Apply and OK. Let us go back to users folder. Now when you click on the user John and click on members of, you will able to see that this user is a member of remote desktop users group. Ok so let's close this. Also close the computer management. Minimize the server manager. Now let us go to our client machine and from that system we are going to connect this server using remote desktop services. So just hold on for a moment. Let me switch to our machine. Ok. So now we are on our Windows 8 machine as you can see. To connect to the remote desktop server we are going to use a shortcut command which will open the remote desktop client. In the run dialog box type mstsc then click ok or press enter. On the remote desktop connection window type the IP address of the server and then click on connect. This will open up a windows security dialog box. Here you have to enter user credentials from which you want to connect to the server. So I am entering the username which is John and the password is very secret I am not going to tell you. Now click on OK. Click yes to accept the certificate warning. As you can see we have successfully able to connect to the server using remote desktop services from our client machine. Let us disconnect the user John from the server. Click OK. Once again let us open the remote desktop connection. Go to run and type mstsc. Click OK. Type the password for the user. Click on remember my credentials checkbox and then click on OK. Oops looks like I have entered wrong password. Let me type it again. Click OK. Yes. Let's minimize the remote desktop connection window. Let's open the remote desktop connection window once more. Go to run type mstsc. Click OK. Click on show options. Click on ask for the credentials. Then click on connect. Now we are connecting to the same server with different user credentials. The username is Tom and the password is very secret. Click OK. Oops it's giving us an error. Normally this doesn't happen but if you are getting this error click OK. Ok so now we are on the server. Go to tools, computer management, local users and groups, users, the user which was giving the error which is Tom. Unselect the first checkbox and select the second and the third checkbox. Then click apply and OK. Let's minimize the computer management and we are going to go back to our client machine. Just hold on. OK. So now once again let's click on connect. Click on use another account. Type the username that is Tom and the password which I am not going to tell you. Click yes to accept the certificate warning. And this time as you can see we are successfully able to log on to the remote desktop server from the user Tom. So let us disconnect this user. Click OK. Hello friends. Thank you for watching our this video tutorial. If you like this video give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to receive an email update whenever we post a new video. Share it with your technical IT friends. If you are facing any technical problem or have any suggestions post your comment here or catch me on Google Plus, Hangout, Facebook, Twitter and Skype. This video tutorial is presented by Sachin Sami powered by ITZOZ.com and you are watching this video on YouTube channel Peter Rice.